Hi everyone, it is January 12, 2018. I just got this sent to me by a subscriber. PayPal banned me. Censorship of conservatives. You know, I can't stand these labels. Oh man, um, have I gone so far outside the matrix that I just, I don't even, uh, I, what does it mean to be a conservative? What does it mean? All right, they're banning conservatives. You know, in the world that we used to live in, where we actually did have um, conservatives and liberals and Democrats and Republicans, you know, that world that we all grew up in. Um, and the ideas were, you know, well, different. But now it, it's so, okay, so conservatives are the only ones who are telling the truth? I, no, I don't think so. I, they're artificial and false. Uh, categories that people are putting people in. I've had subscribers refer to me as conservative. I don't. I don't. I came out of the matrix, out of that liberal progressive matrix, and I didn't jump right into a conservative matrix. I'm out of it. You know, the only distinction that I now have is truth lie. That's it. You know, and so I don't necessarily see this man as conservative. I see him as somebody who has been reporting the truth in Sweden because mainstream media is not reporting it. And that's exactly what he says. So PayPal decided to ban my PayPal account. Too much wrong thing here, I guess. Warning, warning. Well, PayPal has been one of my main sources of income the last few months uh, since I started going independent. And uh, I just got a letter from PayPal saying that closed my account. I mean, why? I'm just an independent journalist reporting the truth about what's actually happening in Sweden because the mainstream media are not up to the job. They're not reporting on what's actually happening in Sweden. You know, there's been all the bombings, the rape crisis, the shootings, and so on and so on. And I've been reporting on it. And now, all of a sudden, the globalists over at PayPal have decided that this is too much of a wrong thing. So I got this email here from PayPal the other day, saying that, uh, quote, due to the nature of my activities, they have decided to close my PayPal account, and they asked me to remove all references to PayPal on my website, jesusweden.com, etc. This is really happening, guys. This is really happening. Everybody should be outraged. Even those who have a different opinion uh, from Peter Sweden, you should be outraged, right? You know, I, I often imagine having these conversations with these liberal progressives, the former friends that I had, and I don't believe any of them would care at all. At all. Um, it would be a subject matter that would just be, you know, negative. And why are you bringing this up, Carol? But it would also be, well, good, glad, because <laughs> this guy is obviously a conspiracy theorist. He should be banned. And, well, they don't, he doesn't have the same views as they do. So they don't really care. Not understanding that the, the implications of this means that free speech is gone gone. And not only is it gone, those with a different view or a different opinion get destroyed in the process by these corporations, PayPal. But they come out and they literally say, due to the nature of your activities, we have closed down your account. They don't fear any backlash because the, the Western nations in particular have not expressed any kind of outrage. The majority of our populations in our respective Western countries have been so incredibly apathetic. So these corporations know that they can, they can just go ahead and do it. They don't care about the news that's going to be coming out about this.
They don't care that he posts a video. They don't even care that people write articles about PayPal and GoFundMe and Patreon banning a bunch of people associated with the quote-unquote alt-right. Where do these labels come from? They come out of the blue and suddenly everybody is thrown into a category, alt-left, alt-right. And they're meaningless. They're, 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 they're these artificial uh, and false distinctions that people make about other people. I am simply, uh, you know, I don't have any label on me. I don't think, hey, I'm a conservative. I'm not, I'm just, I just want the truth. And there's an awful lot of conservatives who do not want the truth. There's an awful lot of Republicans calling people conspiracy theorists, shutting them up, just like the liberal progressives. So for me, it's, it comes down to, are you on the side of truth or are you on the side of lying? And that doesn't mean that I'm not just talking about the liars. I'm talking about the acceptors of the liars. And frankly, I see them as more dangerous because liars will just lie. Those who accept the lies, they allow the lie to live. If people wouldn't accept lies coming from liars, then we would have far more truth happening here in our respective countries. But also here, Project Veritas, another video that they posted, hidden camera, Twitter engineers to ban a way of talking through shadow banning. Gotta watch this. Yeah, Twitter uh, doing the same thing. All of these companies are government. These are the globalists and they're government run. These are not private companies. So this policy manager at Twitter, Trust and Safety Division, says, we're trying to get the shitty people not to show up. We're trying to get the shitty people not to show up. These are the Twitter engineers. These are the people who are banning people on Twitter. We don't like your ideas. We don't like your way of talking. And they also shadow ban. What does that mean? It means that you tweet on your Twitter Twitter account and you think you still have a Twitter account, but you've been shadow banned. Nobody's getting your tweets. You just think that you're sending out messages and nobody is responding. YouTube does the same thing with the comment sections, with the view numbers. This is the world that we're living in now, so um, it's, it's only going to get worse. And it's heartbreaking to see this happening. I, yeah, man, there is so much apathy in our respective countries. And the apathy is destroying an awful lot of good people.